Unilever Ghana posted a net profit of 14 million 73,000 Ghana cities in 2013 as against 5.6 million Ghana cities in 2012. This represents a decline of about 4.4% against the previous year's figure of 5.6%. The drop in profits was due to high cost of borrowing and capital investment, which saw the building of a new tea factory at Tema. No dividend was declared by the management of the bank under review. Manufacturers of household items like Sunlight, Pepsodent, Geisha, Blue Band and Lipton have over the years enhanced sustainability through their brands. The company has developed new ways of doing business with the aim of not only remaining competitive but also ensuring that it increases its market share. At the 47th annual general meeting of the company, the company's revenue grew from 282.1 million Ghana cities to 323.4 million Ghana cities. This represents a growth of 14.6% over that of 2012. The drivers of the growth were food and beverage category, the home and personal care categories grew by 12.7%, whilst the food and beverages category grew by 21.6% in 2013. The chairman of Unilever Ghana, Mr. Ishmael Evans Yamsen, said 2013 was a challenging year, but it managed to scale over that wall. This year, in 2013, we plan to undertake major investment in new technology and also modernize two of our factories, who should allow us to introduce processes and brands that will give us the resilience we are looking for. Besides, given the aggressive competitive markets in which we operate, we will need to continue to invest heavily in our brands, in our routes to market, and in our customers. The managing director of Unilever Ghana, Meidi Ekutu, said the company will carry out more value chain analysis to eliminate non-value adding activities. As part of our drive to improve our service levels to the trade, we will continue with the migration of the handheld terminals used in the collection of sales data from the current Windows platform to Android. This will enable our salesmen to collect data on a real-time basis and will facilitate their work. On the outlook, Unilever says its primary focus in 2014 is to deliver value to shareholders and also undertake investment in new technology and modernize two of its factories.